Sabbath peace. Sabbath peace. It's another opportunity for us to hear and learn of the word of truth that's given to us by the Most High God. All honor goes to the Father through the Son, whose name is Yahushua. In him lies the only hope for salvation. We know that it is obtained by grace through faith, not of works, lest anyone should boast, and given freely as a gift to all who obey him. We understand that if we do not obey him, it is made manifest or made obvious that we do not believe. In this state, we should expect no good thing from the Most High. However, anything that we do get, whether it be a gift of tongues or a gift of prophecy or any supernatural experience that we may have, it can and it will be used against us in the day of judgment. With that said, peace to the saints that are in the room, to the saints that are watching in, to the saints that couldn't make it, but no peace to the wicked. The only thing that we say to them is repent that they might live. Let's open up to uh, John chapter... Uh, John chapter 6, verse uh, 42. It's John chapter 6, verse 42. And they said, Is not this Yahushua, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? He said, Don't we know him? Right? It's Mary and Joseph boy, ain't it? All right, keep going. How is it then that he says, I came down from heaven? How is it that this man talking about he came from heaven when we know his moms and we know his pops? Hey, that don't make no darn sense. Let's hear about it. Yahshua therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. Uh huh. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. Uh huh. And I will raise him up at the last day. Uh huh. It is written in the prophets. And they shall be all taught of God. He said, and they shall be all taught of Yah. Therefore, every man therefore that has heard and has learned of the Father comes unto me. Let me tell you something. If you're going to end up going to the Father in the end of days, if you're going to end up being saved, two things got to happen. You got to hear and you got to learn. Right? That's what we come here to do. We come here to hear the word and learn the word. That's about it. We don't come here to play no patty cake, make no jokes, all this stuff. Anything we do got to come with hearing the word and learning the word. Once we get that, obedience will come. All right? We can, we can obey the Most High God if we hear him and we learn from him. All right? But there's no way to get to the Most High God without that. That's why we start off in Genesis. That way we work our way all the way through the, through the law. All right? That's why we now in Deuteronomy. All right? Pick up. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 6. Let's just do some teaching. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 1. Start right off at the beginning of that thing. TJ, keep them down in there for me. It's Deuteronomy chapter 6, give me verse 1. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, uh -huh. that ye might do them in the land where you go to possess it. Mm-hmm. That thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy son, and thy son's sons, all the days of thy life, mm -hmm. and that thy days may be prolonged. Mm -hmm. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily as the Lord your God, as the Lord God of your fathers have promised thee, in the land that flows with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one Lord. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt love thy, love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. All right. So he said, hear, yo, hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Yahuwah. All right. He's one. So I get all that Trinity talk. All right. All the Trinity. Every time you hear about the Trinity, they're going to say God is three separate persons. All right. They got a little picture. They say the Holy Spirit is not. Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is not the Father, right? But then in the middle is a is one is God is God each one. But if you go around, they not each other, but they are God somehow. That stuff is like doubt. He said, "Aaron told you why you do all that explain. Why in the world these people got to put all that explanation into it when he just gave it to you in one verse?" He said, "Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Yahuwah." That got that done. 
I'm not doing no explaining. He didn't say nothing that what he is not and who he is not. He said he is one, period. If we say anything more than that, guess where it come from? Evil, lies, deceit, right? A lot of these people struggle over these things just because they don't know our law. They've never been taught the law. If you've never been taught the law, how are you going to walk straight? How you know what you're doing? You don't got no law. That's crazy. Keep going. He said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Yahuwah. And you shall love him. What? And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in your heart. And you shall teach them diligently unto your children, mm -hmm. and shall talk of them when you sit in thy in your house, mm -hmm. and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. He said, every time, every chance you get, you tell your boy about this word. You tell your little girl about this word. Right? When it comes to these kids, he said, teach these kids this word. Everything you do, they gonna look, they gonna look up and ask questions. They gonna be like, why we do this? Well, I'll tell you. Everything's supposed, this is our culture. We let these people steal this stuff from us. Right? And it was the Lord's will that it happened, but we let these people steal this stuff from us. They stole our culture from us. They, they made us believe we don't have no history, no culture. He's sitting here telling you, you're supposed to pass this stuff down. This is culture. That's what culture is. You get to passing it down. That's why I told y'all, this ain't no just no religion. You got a lot of people be like, the, the law or the Bible or the scriptures is not a religion. No, it is. It's a religion too. But it's also culture. It's also our politics. Right? It's also our history. Right? It's all those things in one. All of it is the same. It's no different. Right? He told us to pass this thing down from generation to generation. Keep going. And, the, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in your heart, and you shall teach them diligently unto your children. And shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your, your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. Mm -hmm. And you shall write them upon the posts of your house, and on your gates. And it shall be when the Lord your God shall have brought thee into the land which you swear, mm -hmm. which he swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities which you buildest not, mm -hmm. and houses full of all good things which you filled not, right. and wells dig which you dig not, mm -hmm. vineyards and olive trees which you planted not, mm -hmm. when you shall have eaten and be full. Then beware lest you forget the Lord which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Mm -hmm. What happened when you forget him? Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him and shall swear by his name. Mm -hmm. Ye shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are round about you. Why not? For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you. And but what are you going to do? Lest the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Y'all better stop playing with this, man. You go in here and start wearing, you let these people tickle your darn ear and you start wearing darn crystals on your darn neck. Praying these weird darn energy. Right? What do you think this stuff means? Where do you think these people get this stuff from? Celebrating all these people's stuff, letting them tell you it's your God. It ain't none of your God. All this stuff, you end up serving these people's stuff. We got a culture that we, we handed down. Man to man. Man to son. Right? This stuff's supposed to be handed down, and we let these people tickle our ears, and we start following after their stuff. Don't you know most of our guys are jealous God? What do you think, that man just sitting up here looking at this stuff like, oh, okay, that's cool. No, nah, he looks he's just like, I'm, I'm about to break out and get y'all, but in a second here. Alright, y'all ain't got to listen to me. He'll tell y'all, keep going. You shall not tempt the Lord your God as ye tempted him in Massa. Mm -hmm. Ye shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his testimonies and his statutes which he has commanded thee. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord that it may be well with thee, and that you may go and to possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. To cast out all thine enemies from before thee, as the Lord has spoken. And when thy son asks you in time to come, saying, When your son asks you in time to come and say what? What mean the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which the Lord our God has commanded you? Mm -hmm. Then you shall say unto your son, 
we were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt. And so look, listen to what the question was from the son. The question from the son was, what do these statutes and these, these testimonies mean? These commandments that he's given us, what do they mean? Why did we get these commandments from the Most High God? And look what the answer is. And you shall say unto your son, we were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt. Uh -huh. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Uh -huh. And the Lord showed signs and wonders and great, great and sore upon uh -huh. Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from there and that he might bring us in to give us the land which he sware unto our fathers. Uh -huh. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes to fear the Lord our God for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is this day. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he has commanded us. Uh-huh. At the end of the chapter. So you see, the answer to the young man was, oh, the Most High God gave us this for our good. Let me explain the history to you. That's what's been robbed of us. Right? It's been The history has been robbed of us. And now what they do is they tell us, you know what? That's done away with. So even still today, we got the whole book in front of us, and they still rob the history of us. We don't, even, we don't even think it makes sense for us to even look too deeply into it. You know what I'm saying? Just give me the cliff notes. You know what I'm saying? Just give me the bullet points. Okay, Moses. Okay, Mount Sinai, Ten Commandments. All right, that's a good. Right? We let these people tell us all these lies. Let her tickle our darn ears and change the book around us. Give us dark Christmas. None of us question but Christmas. We sit here every darn year, and you got a big fat man wearing a red suit every year in a Christmas tree. And none of us step back and be like, what does this have to do with what y'all say this, this holiday is about? All of it made sense to us. It made perfect darn sense that you got an Easter bunny laying eggs. And that, that somehow got something to do with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Make a whole lot of sense. We got a book that tell us, don't call no man father. Yet, it make a whole lot of sense that the whole world honor a man named Pope. Which in Latin means father. We got a book that tell us, don't, don't pray in repetition. But it make a whole lot of sense for us. To have a Catholic church where you got praying beads where you repeat the same prayer every time you move a beat. Same thing with Muslims. All this stuff makes perfect sense to us. This is a good Christian way. We got a book that tell us don't split up in denominations. Don't split up in factions and sects. Right? It tells us not to do it. But it makes perfect sense to us that you got 33,000 different denominations all going a different direction. All believing a different thing. At some point we have to stand back and look and say. This is a darn mess. This is not Philip sitting here lying and, and hating on churches. Just look at the evidence. Does it line up with what we know? And I'm not even talking about deep stuff. We all know these things. This book. You learn this in your own Christian church. And sit in hypocrisy in it. When do we sit back and say, okay, you know what? We need to actually learn something. We need to go back and we need to figure something out. It's all darkness. We ain't even right met the light. The man tell you in John chapter 3, they go from the light because their deeds are evil. Where do you think the light come from? Two things we come here to do every darn week. Hear the word, learn the word. You saw the man, he just gave us the command. He said that thing ought to be like, like frontlets on your darn eyes. In other words, he said, you look at this word, this word should mean everything for us. Everything. This thing should be primary for us. Well, that's what it is. The word? Oh, that got to get done. I got to learn the word. That's crazy. And you don't know it? That's crazy. That just don't make no sense. You don't know the word and that thing ain't, you ain't itching to learn it? That's just crazy. That don't make no sense. That just ain't the attitude that the man gave us. That's not a part of our people. 
Our people, if the word come, you supposed to learn that thing. Two things. You want to hear the word, and you got to learn it. You can't just hear that thing. You just hear it, and now you don't get no understanding from it. That's worthless. Right? You got to hear it first. Once you hear it, then you got to learn it. That's a book for us. You learn this man's commandments. Don't you know this whole world to light up for you? Everything become clear? A lot of these people don't understand this stuff because they sit here and play around with the command. You need Hebrew. They learn the darn dietary law. They learn it. You ain't supposed to uh, woo. Uh, I mean, uh, you're not supposed to sew. You know what I'm saying? Wool and darn uh, linen together. That's the extent of their law. Ooh, I got to have tassels on my clothes. That's where they darn stop. I don't eat pork. I got tassels on my t-shirt. I go buy me a pro club extra long t-shirt and put tassels on the end of it. And all of a sudden now, I'm, you know what? 100% Hebrew. It just, you don't know nothing about no law. Your butt gonna go to hell just like everybody else you don't line up. You gotta hear the word and learn it. Grab a psalm for me. Psalm 119. It's Psalm 119. Give me verse... Uh, Verse uh, I the 97. Whole, the whole chapter? Huh? I said the whole chapter. Yeah, Man, we'll get party. the whole thing. The whole thing good, though. Yeah. Party. You gotta go potty. Yeah. Can you take her to the potty, please? Come on, it's easy. She know how to do everything on her own. This Psalm 119, verse 97. Yeah, Tasha gonna take you. Hurry up, hurry up. Go. Hurry up, Azariah. You know how to do it. Run to the bathroom. She gonna go on herself. Yep, she and her not going. Hurry up, baby. This Psalm 119, verse 95. 97 or 95? 97. If I said 97, 97 or Oh, how I love, oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Look how you start that thing off. I mean, really, we can randomly pick anywhere in this chapter. And yeah, I mean, you're going to hear pretty much the same thing said a different way. He said, oh, how I love thy law. Right? It's my meditation. It's what I be thinking about all the time. That thing, flip that thing over in my, my brain. Keep going. Thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than my enemies. He said, through your commandments, I've been made more wise than my enemies. These people can't, these people don't have nothing on me because by your commandments, I see through all they mess. For they are ever with me. Mm -hmm. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for my testimonies are my meditation. He said, well, hold on. He said, I got more understanding than who? All my teachers. You don't think that's our testimony? Who taught us the book? Uh, Gentiles. No, I'm talking specifically you and me. Who taught us the book? Oh, uh, nobody. We went to church for a long time, right? Read that again for me. I have more understanding than all my teachers. All these people that tried to teach us the book when we was young, all these churches we went to, do we understand the book more than them? Yeah. And nobody, can't nobody come and tell us, nobody can come, I can't say I taught T. And T can't say he taught me, right? And can't nobody come and say they taught us. Let one, let one preacher, pastor, Bible teacher come around here and be like, you know what? I taught them boys everything they know. I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it. Be like, you know, I taught them what they know. And I get you. I bet you at the end of it, we accept. Yeah, you know what? You was my teacher. And we, we'll accept that. And at the end of it, we'll be like, we still got more understanding than you. That's the law. That's the law. You think this is an accident? We try to tell people, get in it and just read the book. Learn the book. It ain't nothing wrong with having a teacher. It's, it's, it's actually right to have a teacher. It's the most high God provided. But at the end of the day, you have to learn it. If you learn it by teacher or you let the most high God teach you through the spirit of his word. Right? You open up that book, start reading if you ain't got a teacher. That's what we did. It would be easier if we had one. It would be, man, let me tell you something. I pray to God. I still pray to God for a teacher. I don't see here just because I know a lot and I'm more wise and all this than anybody that I know when it comes to the Bible and all that. I, that ain't in my mind. I don't care nothing about this. 
When I'm coming back, what do I need to know to sustain what I'm doing? Peter tell me, you got to keep adding, keep adding. I ain't, I ain't getting to a place where I'm just complaining, like, okay, I know enough of the Bible. I ain't even got to read the Bible no more. That thing don't even make no sense to me. You know, I don't even need to do Bible study no more. Nah, that, that just don't make sense to me. The man tell me I got to keep adding and keep adding, and I'm talking about what I don't have to do no more? <laughs> that just don't line up for me. That thing got to be a friendly. Keep going. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. I you got I, I had a old, I, I, I don't want to call him an old man, but I, I had a gentleman, uh, he called me today. Called me, uh, left a message, you know what I'm saying? I was at work. He left a message on the Tata Y'all line. And he was like, you know what I'm saying? I saw you online. And uh, I just want you to know, brother, I got some questions. Older man, you know what I'm saying? I got some questions. So I called him back when I got off and uh, tried to rap with him for a little bit. I was like, you know what I'm saying? He said, you had some questions. First, he was like, who? Who was that calling? I was like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you left a message, a voicemail. On a number that she probably got from online. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh! He's like, oh, yeah. I got some questions for you, brother. So I was like, talk to me. What, what questions you got? So, you know, he gets to grilling me. You know what I'm saying? So, so what you believe? I'm like, okay, what you mean? What you mean? That's a big question. You know what I'm saying? I believe the book. You know what I'm saying? I assume you called me about the book. I believe the book. You know what I'm saying? I was like, not, not the book like you may have heard it. You know what I'm saying? I believe the book as it's written. You're like, so, uh, you know, you a Hebrew Israelite? I was like, in no way am I a Hebrew Israelite. I'm a Hebrew and a descendant of the Israelites. But a Hebrew Israelite, that's not what I consider myself. You know what I'm saying? He was like, but I can understand why somebody would consider me one. He was like, are you a Christian? Uh, I can understand why somebody would consider me one. But in no way I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm a disciple of the son. All right? I keep the ways of the book. He was like, so do you keep the law? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I was like, absolutely, I uphold the law. And I also understand that in order to be saved, I got to keep the commandments of Yahushua. Some people call him Jesus. He was like, so is Yahushua his name or Jesus? I was like, well, Yahushua is his name. But I completely understand how it came to be Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Stuff was transliterated. So he just asked me questions, trying to see where he can catch me up and start the argument. Whole time, he was like, yeah, but, but. Oh, okay, I understand. And then just got off the phone. All right, brother, I appreciate your time. Got right on off the phone. What you going to say? It's right. You ain't gonna say nothing is wrong. And if you do say it's wrong, you gonna look like an idiot, right? I have more more understanding than the ancients. Not because of me. Not because I'm sitting here. You know why? Because of the book. This is law. Just trust the book. If the book is saying this is what it is, why well, I'm gonna sit here and be like, you know what? That's not what it is. That's crazy. That would make it seem like, oh, you know, there go Philip Boston. I ain't got no time. Even though the most I got said, if you're going to boast about something, boast on how much you know him. Boast that he, boast on the fact that he knows me. You know what I'm saying? Knows if you're going to boast about something, that's the time that you boast, right? But, you know but this not, not even what this is. It's not boasting. This trying to show y'all that this is living proof that the word works. I live it. I see my brother live it. Right? It's living proof that the all we got to do is learn it. Keep going. Watch this. Here I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, uh -huh. sweeter than honey to my mouth. Uh -huh. Through thy precepts I get an understanding, therefore I hate every false way. He said, I hate every false way. Watch this. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. He said, thy word is what I was looking for. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path. And a light unto my path. There's a lot of us that are in darkness. A lot of us that are in darkness. And the cold thing is, we think we in some. We think we pest with Presbyterian churches and, and, and Church of God in Christ and, 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 uh, and uh, Pentecostal and Baptist and, and, and uh, it was an AME or something like that, an AME, some church. You know what I'm saying? All these darn churches, all these different denominations, we think we in it. I-U-C-C-G-C, I-U. Oh, don't get to talking about these Hebrew camps. <laughs> goodness gracious, the alphabet camps. Oh, my goodness G -G gracious. G-O-C. G-O-C. That's a gathering of Christ. Then you got the I-U-C-P or I-U-C-U or something like that. I'd be like, goodness great. D-boy darn make a darn mess. If they not sitting there telling lies, talking about 
the, the Messiah didn't come from a virgin, then they coming back, they telling lies that uh that uh the, the land is Babylon and you supposed to leave it. All these men, they tell they got another one, he run the he run it run his congregation, he tell them that he the Holy Spirit. I'm like, man, I don't know what's wrong with these guys. They all come from a darn camp that teach that uh one of them, one of the leaders was the incarnation of David. <laughs> That's, I mean that all all these little little different camps they all come from that right. they all stem off from this one guy that were all of them darn wild so where's your kingdom you know they should ask him. We make a darn so, so where's your kingdom bro we would light these boys up <laughs> That's crazy. we would light these darn boys up That's crazy we got we like and I, honestly there's a lot of them that would love to talk to us. They had love to they had love to sit here. They think they would at least sit there and love to argue with them. But we had light they butts darn up with this book. Light them up. And it's only because they don't know the law. Right? As much as they think they do. You got another group, another group that's in Israel right now. In Israel right now, telling people, if you keep the feast where you are in your captivity, you a sinner. Wow. They are, they they in Israel cutting up lambs and sacrificing. But we the sinners. And they haven't been sanctified. They don't know if they are sinners. Which one of y'all is a Levite? And after you figure that part out, after you figure out neither one, none of y'all is, but let's just say one of them is. After you figure out who a Levite, which one of y'all got cleansed? And then who cleansed? Because I don't know. Let me just try to remember. Moses had to do the sacrifice to make Aaron the high priest. Aaron couldn't just jump on the scene and be a high priest. Moses actually had to sanctify him. Yeah, sanctify. And I'm trying to figure out who sanctified Moses. Oh, that's who? The Most High God. Himself. Most High God had to sanctify Moses just so Moses could sanctify Aaron. So you tell me, and then from there, it was a clean line. Sanctify, you sanctify, sanctify. Then the line got broken. Right? We're gonna talk about the history. We're gonna get we gonna get to all the history. But the line got broken. Then we had our kings and our king, our queens. Right? Go on in there, boy. Go on. Right? Line got broken. We got a big feast that we trying to pull together. Who was it? Hezekiah? It was Josiah. Hezekiah did. Hezekiah, too. Hezekiah did too. I think I'm thinking about Hezekiah. It might be Josiah I'm thinking Josiah about. Josiah did. The but I think thing. I think I'm thinking about Hezekiah, where where all the people got back together and they had to sanctify the priest. You know what I'm saying? Man, and they. I think that was Josiah. That was Josiah. I think so. Hezekiah and Josiah did too big. They both did big. Both ones. did big ones. So yeah, I, I could be mixing them up. But one of our kings, right, had to sanctify the priest, right, and the and the Most High God had to make an exclusion for him to be sanctified. Yeah, didn't they say? Uh, Pardon us this day or something like Pardon that. Pardon us. <laughs> had to make an exclusion. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Which one of y'all making get me having God make an exclusion for y'all? Who the king that's gonna be able to make that type of call? He was like, hold this not against them, but pardon them because Who's the king that's gonna pray that on your behalf? These boys make a darn mess. Man, they they don't know our law, they don't know our history, they don't pay attention. I forgot what God told Ezekiel. What God told Ezekiel, bro? He said, when I scatter you, the ones that remember me, I'm going to be a little sanctuary to you wherever you go. That's book. That's and that's why, prophecy. That's why he said, neither on this way, he told the woman at the well, neither here or Jerusalem. He said, whoever worships me, how they going to worship him? Spirit and truth. Oh, shut y'all darn mouth. I don't know nothing about this book. This law light y'all, this stuff light y'all butts up. They just don't know. They sit here and argue all day long, but they just don't know. Whole book talking against them. Whole book talking against them. Jeremiah have a whole book of trying to tell people, nah, judgment coming. Y'all might as well go ahead, go on into Babylon. Go on into Babylon. The same book, he has, he has, he has a prophecy in there that says, flee Babylon. Jeremiah did. Prophecy in there, it say, flee Babylon. Whole book, though, he telling people, might as well go on into Babylon. <laughs> so that would be like somebody going to Jeremiah and be like, 
Now, Jeremiah said, flee Babylon, when the man's here telling you to go into Babylon. To, to these idiots, that look like a, com a contradiction. You know, contradiction, he told you what to darn do. He told you specifically, take your butt into Babylon. One day it's going to happen where the Most High God is going to say, flee Babylon. Right now, you take your butt in there. Guess what happened to the people that didn't go? Murder. Slaughter. Homes burned down. Temple burned down. Y'all better stop playing with these people in Israel. Most High God know what he want. Most High God know what he trying to do. Well, no escape. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta, all you got to do is roll the darn puncher. No, we don't like being over here. No, we want to get back to our land. I want to get back to our land too. I want to get back to our way of order. Let me do it on God's time. Why am I trying to do stuff above him when I got his book? Unless I don't know it. Unless I ain't got no light to explain to show me this is the right way to go. Unless I'm just operating in darn dark dark. That's the only way it makes sense. If I don't know what I'm darn doing, I'm just bumping into stuff, that makes sense now. I'm going back to land because I didn't know no better. That makes sense at that point. You got to learn. All y'all got to learn. I respect y'all brothers too. I hope y'all listen. I respect y'all brothers. I really do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all courageous brothers. You know what I'm saying? To get up and get out and do that. Go put all your energy into trying to get our people to do something that you think is right. Stuff is respectable. Trying to wake up our people. All of it is respect. I respect. Don't ever think I, I, don't, I don't respect y'all. I respect the brother that want to talk to me. And, and, and he thinks, you know what I'm saying? We got to sell everything we got to be saved. I respect them. Because even though they dead darn wrong and darn believe stupid darn doctrine. It's respectable that you would go that hard for it. Now let's just go hard for the right thing. Come learn. Don't be too hard-minded to be, you know, I'm a young brother. Don't be too hard-minded to get taught by me. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like, oh, yeah, I know Philip. You know what I'm saying? He only got a couple people watching this stream, so he must not be knowing what he's talking about. Don't let that, don't let them trick you into thinking this is a day of small things. Most like God said, don't despise the day of small things. Do you despise the day of small things? Y'all better pay attention to this stuff. This is a book that we trying to teach. We come here two things. Hear the word, learn the word. You know what I'm saying? You do that, you'll be all right. All right? The law got to be a light to us. Always going to be a light. Y'all sure was a darn light. Second, uh, Second Peter chapter 1. It's 2 Peter chapter 1. Give me verse 16. Watch this. It's 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 16. You said 16? Yeah. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 16. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord, Yahushua the Messiah, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. All right, Peter is letting you know. This stuff that we talking about, ain't nobody just make this stuff up. These ain't no fairy tales that we just follow it. Right? How we know, Peter? Keep telling us. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Peter telling you, well, we seen this. We were sitting here witnessing it when the man spoke to the Most High, or the Most High God spoke to the man and said, this is my beloved son. Hear him. Pay attention to what this man talking about. He said, we were there. I'm not telling you. I'm not making up no story. I ain't I'm not talking about I heard this from some. I was there. That's where all these people miss this stuff at. You got people talking about, man, this man I was listening to yesterday. Talking about, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, one guy here talking about he is like, uh, uh, 
He is like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I feel blessed that God put me in this position or something like that. You know what I'm saying? He is like, well, I don't know about, he's like, I don't know about that part, but I think you did work hard to get yourself into this position, this, that, and other. You know what I'm saying? Try to emphasize that he don't know that, that the most high God had anything to do with it. Right? So, you know what I'm saying? So he is like, so he got to getting in the conversation, of, you know, about him being an atheist and all that stuff. And he's just like, you know what I'm saying? I just don't believe him, believe in anything that I can I can't prove. You know what I'm saying? He is like, he is like, he is like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the other dude asked, he is like, so you don't, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You can't see atoms. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the molecules, you know what I'm saying? You can't see atoms and the molecules and stuff, but you believe in that, don't you? He is like, yeah, because we got science to prove that. You know what I'm saying? He is like, he is like, all you got to do, you know what I'm saying? You can see, you can't see atoms themselves, but you can see what they make up. You got, you got science to prove it. I guarantee he ain't never seen a darn atom in his life. He ain't never took a stellar, even though he could. He, he ain't never took a telescope, you know what I'm saying, or a microscope, rather, you know what I'm saying, and, and looked at an atom, or looked at a little uh, molecule. You know what he did? He read a book that said that another man looked at it. And he believed that because the other man said he was an eyewitness of that. And that's believable to him. You know why? Because a whole bunch of other people have also been eyewitnesses to it. Well, let me tell you something. How is that any different from this book? We got a whole bunch of people that say they eyewitnesses to something. Different people at different times putting together this big book. And we read it and we believe it. Don't let these people try to make you think believe in our history, believe in our culture, believe in our religion, believe in all these things is different from what these people doing. They pick up sign book and they never pick up a, a darn telescope. They never pick up a microscope. They never cut up a person's brain and look for themselves. And, that, and that's never been a prerequisite for them to believe what they believe. None of them think they're walking around here brainless. None of them think they made up of anything but Adam. As a nerd say, you know what I'm saying, he just never seen no evidence of God. That's like walking, that's like going to Antarctica and having somebody tell you, ain't nobody ever been here. We the first people who ever set foot here, and it's a house built. It is already a house there. What you gonna assume? A bear did it? <laughs> a seal? Seal like, ah, oh, let me get it out. When you see it, what's the first thing you gonna think? Oh, that's a lie. Somebody been here. Somebody living in that house, or used to. But now you see all this world, they got an atmosphere that keeps us where we able to breathe, and if you go outside of it, your butt gonna die and freeze to death. Somehow, as long as you, let me see, let, let's just see if this makes sense. If I'm here on Earth, I'm warm. But now if I take an airplane ride and I go further, further, and closer to the sun, somehow I get cold. <laughs> what sense does that make? I don't know. I would feel like somebody designed it that way. But now that's just science. It's definitely a scientific explanation for it. They break that thing down, did that, that, okay, for sure. After you get done breaking that down, tell me how it got like that. Like, is that all this by accident? They got parts of your body that, that are completely relying on each other. In other words, if it did happen, like, you know what I'm saying, by evolution, it had to happen all at once for it to work out that way. It's parts in your ear that this piece is relying on this piece, and without this piece, this piece don't work. So you mean to tell me my body, over millions and billions of years, just evolved to have these, these body parts that, that are completely relying on each other, scientifically, and science has explained this to you, and that just happened to happen out of nowhere, huh? It just all just happened out by accident. Stop being stupid. Y'all know that stuff is stupid. They know it's stupid. But they're sitting here and continue to dumb down the people. But guess what? When you learn the law, when you believe Yahweh Shua is the one, right? Your eyes open. You got some light on it. You can see through all this stuff. You start being wise. People can't tell you anything. You just believe it. That, that, that ain't crazy. So like an explosion created all of this. I'm just trying to figure out how you get a when dog and a the, cat from a flash of light. So like when was the last time an explosion created something? You know what I'm saying? Any explosion destroys any, like everything. In Hawaii. Right? What you see in Hawaii right now. Okay. No. And stuff is getting burnt down. <laughs> Destroyed. Whole island about to split in half over that thing. You saw that thing? Yeah. I was looking like, man, that thing crazy. 
These yeah. people don't listen. Most high God talking. Them people out there eating dogs and rats and all this crazy stuff out there. You'll see. They ain't racist. That is what they doing over there trying to sneak it in Hawaii. Yeah, you got all them people coming from all them other places. That's a different story. Different story. Better not be no darn dog in them. Hurt my darn feel. Yeah, buddy. I mean, that thing's supposed to be good to be. You never know. You never know. Keep going, though. What else we got here? We have also, and this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. Uh huh. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. He said we have also a, a more sure word of prophecy whereunto. You do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Whole book trying to let you know you're, or, you're in darkness. The only thing you can do is listen to this word, whether it be the commandment or the gospel. Listen to this word so it can shed a little light for you. And you can pay attention. And you can see what's going on around you. Otherwise, your butt is just bumping in the darn walls, running into stuff, making a darn mess. How else do you get, you get groups of people going 33,000 different directions? That's amazing. These Christians got 33,000 different denominations. 33,000 different ways of seeing one book. That's insane. And nobody's looking at that and be like, oh, no, it's, uh, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's a problem. That, no, that, that can't be it. That's a problem. Everybody's just looking at, well, you know, the main thing is that they all believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sin. You don't get out of my face with that stuff. You don't even know what that thing means. How you gonna know what it means? Everything is the same man died on the cross and y'all see it and y'all can't figure out how to follow him right? That just means he bought y'all. Now all y'all slaves to him. He owned you. You might want to do what the man said. He paid the cost. Man got a whole lot of power. He paid the cost to be the boss. Might want to do what the man said. <laughs> might want to do it. He just bought everybody. That he owned it. your butt. That what you gonna, what you gonna do with it? Yeah, what you gonna do with something that you own? And it don't it don't operate the way you want it to. Throw it in the trash. That was a bad investment. Hey, Go ahead yeah, trash. An investment. You know what I'm saying? They say this is this is good for business. These people will get it one day, right? It's always all about putting that light. You know what I'm saying? You are you in you in darkness, like like y'all sure we ain't got to get it. But Matthew 15 tell us the blind lead the darn blind. He said, what's gonna happen to them? You both gonna fall in the ditch. I mean, but if the blind is leading the blind, really it's just the leader that's going to fall in. Both. Wow, we got to grab it. Get, get Matthew uh, chapter 15. They asked me, that. I was like, well, when I did all of this not knowing that it wasn't right, will God still hold me accountable? I was like, yeah, absolutely. You better believe it. Absolutely. Grab Matthew chapter 15. I just want people, because if I tell you what he said after he said blind leading the blind, they both fall into a ditch. You know, if I tell you what he said, y'all ain't going to believe me. Y'all ain't gonna believe me. Y'all gonna be like, you know what? See, that ain't the God I serve. God I serve, he loves everybody. He's an understanding God. Gracious God. Omnipotent God. You know how they be using all that? Omnipotent. It's omnipotent. You start messing with him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's Matthew chapter 15. Give me like verse 10 or something. And he called the multitude and said to them, Hear and understand. Not that which goeth into the mouth defiles a man, but that which comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. Are you trying to teach the people. I understand y'all got y'all y'all tradition and everything. That's good. I'm just trying to let you know that that ain't going to defile a man what's going in him. It's what come out the man that's what's going to defile. He's trying to teach the people. Guess how people felt about what he said. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? Don't you know these Christians be offended when they hear you talk? When they hear y'all read the Bible? You know how I many people deleted me on Facebook, unfriended me, blocked me over the word? Not over it. Listen, and and y'all y'all can look for y'all sale. Everything bare record. I ain't up here telling no darn lies. None of these people blocking me because I'm going to their page, disrespecting them, calling them out their name, like a whole lot of people do on Facebook every day and don't get blocked. These people blocking me because I might go on their comments and I say, oh no, that's not right, and then show them a Bible verse. 
And that gets these people so fresh. Matter of fact, some of them block me because on my page, I put something and give them a Bible verse. They, none of them ever going to tell me that's not what it say. None of them ever going to tell me that's not the correct interpretation of it. You know what they're going to tell me? You know, but it's different ways of seeing it. Or, you know, yeah, but it's not that simple. Or maybe that doesn't apply to everybody. They're going to tell me some stuff that they can't prove. And then you know what they're going to do? They're going to get so frustrated, so offended, that they're going to delete. He said, you know what? Don't you know these Pharisees get offended at what you say? Watch what Yahushua say. But he answered and said. Watch how Yahushua was like, oh, let me go talk to him. Or let me, let me just go figure out how to say it differently. I have to explain it so they, they understand what I'm talking about. Let's hear Yahushua say. But he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted up. He said, it's only right. Let's keep going. Let them alone. He said, do what? Let them alone. He said, let them alone. Why? They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So, if, I mean, let's just, I mean, we all sensible, you know, people who have a good heart, right? All of us, who have got good hearts. We see a blind person being led by another blind person, and we see a ditch in front of them. Instinctively, what we're going to want to do is, hey, whoa, whoa, don't fall into that ditch, right? Naturally, that's what we want to do, right? He said, for these people that's offended by him, he said, first thing he started with, leave them alone. Oh, no, they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind leave the blind, they both going to fall into a ditch. That's book. I ain't here chasing nobody that's offended in what I'm talking about. Not that I'm telling the truth. You offended in what I'm talking about, guess what? You must be blind. And you must be leading the blind. Or you being led by the blind. And if that's the case, only thing I can do is tell you but the truth. You ain't trying to hear that. You got to fall in that ditch. You got to learn on your own. I ain't chasing. There's a whole lot of people that want to know the word. What I'm doing chasing these people that don't want to know? That just does, The priority just don't make sense. It just don't make sense. The priority just doesn't make sense. Grab a, grab a Jeremiah chapter 6. There's only one way to get back to where we need to be. Seek the old path. Huh? Or seek the old path. Seek the old path. Only one way to get back to where we need to be. In Jeremiah chapter 6, give me about verse 13. Give back to the old path. For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness. Zakai, stop. Zakai, stop. He said, from the least of them, even to the greatest, the greatest of them, everybody is given up into what? Into covetousness. Uh-huh. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone deals falsely. Everybody lying. From the prophet on to the priest, everybody lying. You don't think that's where we are right now? You got all these people calling themselves prophets and pastors and leaders and teachers. Everybody is lying about this book. Everybody. You can't find a good church. You can't find, you can't do it. All these folks is lying about this book. You can't find a good Hebrew camp. They are all lying about this darn book. Everybody you're going to find. Right? Keep going. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. Right? They tell these people, these Christians tell these people, it's going to be peace. You're going to be all right. God wants you to prosper. Oh, my God said, there is no peace. Why are you trying to heal the wound that I inflicted? Most I got like, I inflicted that wound. Why are you trying to heal it? Keep going. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Heck no. No. They were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. Uh-huh. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, says the Lord. Uh-huh. Thus says the Lord, stand ye in the ways and seek. He says, stand ye in the ways and seek. And ask for the old path. He said, ask for the old path. 
Where is the good way? And uh -huh. walk therein. He said, just walk it. And you shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Ain't nobody trying to listen. Go to, uh, go to Malachi. We just got to remember the old way. That's why he told us, pass it down, pass it down, pass it down, pass it down. If we remember the old way, then we can get somewhere. Our problem is now, we don't remember the old way. We out here doing whatever we want to do. Which means, it ain't no light in what we doing. Which means, we don't really see what we doing. Which means, we blind. Which means, we blind, leading the blind, or being led by somebody that's blind. Which means, we gonna fall into a darn ditch. Like the day of judges. The only way we can do it is find back and remember the old way. We got to hear and we got to learn the word. That's it. Otherwise, we're never going to see the Father. Keep going. Malachi what? This is Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day comes that shall burn as an oven, mm -hmm. and all the proud, yes, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Uh -huh. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Uh-oh, does that sound like the beginning of the world or the end of the world? Yeah. So the Son of Righteousness is going to arise with healing in his wings. That means somebody wounded. Somebody hurt if they need to be healed. Why y'all trying to be okay already when he trying to tell you this is how you're going to end up being okay? Everything we do is just against the man's word. Keep going. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. Uh-huh. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under your soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, says the Lord of hosts. So does this sound like the end of the world? I mean, it sounds like when Yahushua come back, don't it? Okay, let's see. Remember ye the law of Moses, my he said, servant. He said, we do what? Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. He said, remember the law of Moses with the statute and the judgments. Get back to the old path. What else are we going to do? This is our wisdom in, front, in the eyes of the people. This is our righteousness in the eyes of the people. It's the only way we get it. Right? If we don't continue to hear this word, and we don't continue to learn this word, it really ain't nothing else for us. Right? It's nothing else for us. That's why we come here. We don't come here to play no patty cake. We come here to make sure that people understand what the word is talking about. That we understand the law in a real way. Right? That we understand, that we understand exactly what's being talked about in the book. That we understand exactly what direction that we need to go. Right? We have an urgency towards all the wrong things. We have a priority against all the wrong things. When does the word become a priority? When does it become important enough for us to say, you know what? I need to know. This is my soul that's on the line. I appreciate it. You remember, uh, you remember, uh, you know what I'm saying, Lady West? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? She rapped. The rapper. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He used to spit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to her on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I think she uh like she was going to school for acupuncture or something like that. She is like, man, I'm I'm in this class. She is like, man, I saw her post. She is like, man, listen, it seems like this stuff a little like a cult. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? He trying trying to teach me all types of stuff. This acupuncture stuff. I said, oh, tell me more. You know what I'm saying? She started telling me that stuff. I was looking like, ah, right, you know, I did never really thought about it, but that thing made perfect sense. You know what I'm saying? You poking stuff at people, you know what I'm saying, putting it in certain places. You know that thing make perfect sense at that thing, you know what I'm saying? They dealing with the with the dark magic, you know what I'm saying? So you know you look at that stuff and it's not acupuncture. We know it worked. The people say people say that thing work. I ain't no nothing. I ain't no nothing like that was tied to it. I just thought it was like, oh, I just thought it was science. Like pinch the nerve and relax something and Right? She is like, man, this thing kind of cool. She is like, she is like, after that, I'm done. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. You know what that takes? If, if the whole world telling you something, I, right, what's going to tell you no other than God? I appreciate that. I know, I can see when God works in small ways. You know what I'm saying? And you can see it. You, you look at that thing and be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm not messing with it. Just because you saw that thing and it was uncomfortable. It's like what we talked about last week. 
with the horoscopes and all that stuff. The whole world tell you it's right. When you can look at it and be like, nah, that ain't for me. Not me. I'm done. That's why I appreciate Daniel. Right? We look at these things. It's important for us. We got to keep ourselves clean. Most high God coming back here. What are you going to do when you see you find yourself a dirty people? Do away with your budget just like the rest of these sinners. Clean it. You got to clean up. Right? Everything got to be clean. Kill all flesh. Only thing that's sticking around is what's already clean. You can have them clean you now, or you can have them clean your butt out later. Any questions? You heard what they do in the law when somebody got leprosy on the garment. Uh oh. What happened? To, what happened? What happened when you got leprosy on the garment, T? You gotta take that out and burn it. That thing done. I mean, what what happened if you got you know what I'm saying leprosy in your wall? You gotta take that down. Break down the whole house. Whole house gotta be broke down. Everything gotta come out that thing. <laughs> I mean, what happened? You got leprosy on your skin. Well, you gotta be shut up outside the camp until it's gone. And if it don't go away, you gotta stay outcast. Yo, but out of here. Good. If it's permanent. Hey! Hit your butt over there. Right? That's book for us. He's not playing with these people. He trying to teach you. He spent the whole law trying to teach you exactly who he is. And guess what? Don't nobody want to pay attention to it. Don't nobody want to pay attention to it. They want to be like, nah, that part done away with. You know, part we want to talk about the part where Jesus said he loved everybody. Find it where he said it. You just find it where he said, I love everybody. That's a lie. He ain't never said nothing like that. Yes, he did. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Okay. You know what he gave his son to do? Die for the world. Y'all think it died for the world so everybody might be saved. Everybody might have an opportunity to be saved. But at the same time, whoever ain't saved, oh, I own your butt now. I own you. I own you. You, have, you ever seen something that you wanted so much that you will save up as much money as you could for it and buy it? And then you own it? Then a couple of years go by and you're like, nah, throw it away and then you get something else? God so loved the world. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? God so loved the world. He didn't throw your butt out in the minute. He lost your darn mind. He let his son die, raise him up, and if only one person ended up being saved, he looking at it like, oh, that's worth it. The rest of y'all butt, he didn't throw y'all butts out in the darn minute. Yeah, don't get it construed. You done lost your darn mind. You thinking that your sinning butt is what hanging is what's hanging God up. Mm, I don't want to pull the trigger. Just Y'all done lost y'all darn mind, man. Light y'all butt up in a second. It's like it's like like heaven gonna be better with you or I in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He ain't thinking about us. He thinking about the master plan. He thinking about somebody who who a righteous man that's willing to obey the man. Who a righteous woman that's gonna sit and obey the man. He ain't thinking about no sinner. What do you think a sin? What is the sinner gonna do for him? What is a righteous man gonna do for him? Let alone a sinner. He said that the righteous is scarcely saved. Where does that lead a sinner? Damnation. Let's go ahead and pray out.